Hello friends, welcome to the online Gurukul. I am Varsha ma'am and today we are going to be learning one of the chapters of class 7th mathematics that is simple equations. So let's get started. Before we enter into solving, how do we solve an equation that is find out, finding out the value for a variable, let's understand some few basics about this. So let's get started. So the very first thing that is 2 and x. So what is this 2 and what is this is x? 2 is a variety, or is a number, right? Or we can say simply it's a constant when there is no attachment of any variable along with it. That is he is alone. Now when I say z or the x or I can take up any alphabet in a smaller case from a to z that becomes my variable right and when now this 2 and x is being added or we are using any other operations that is minus multiply divide then we say that this is my expression now when this particular expression is being equated when I say being equated, that means there is an equal to sign and I write 4 to the right hand side, right? Then this becomes an equation. An equation will always have a sign of equality. And what is the sign of equality? It is an equal to sign. Rightly said? Okay. So now let's move in ahead of solving an equation. So basically, when we solve an equation, we have two methods. The first method is known as the inverse operation method. When I say inverse operation method, what does it mean? Inverse means opposite. Opposite of what? The sign which is given, whether it's minus, plus, multiply or divide. That is known as the inverse operation method. Now, how do we do it? Let's see. So, I take up an equation which is 2 plus or 1 second. So, sorry. I'll take up z plus 4 is equals to 8. Is this an equation? Yes, it is an equation. Why? Because it has the sign of equality. Now, what is the op operation being used here? It is plus. I have to use the opposite of plus. What is the opposite of plus? It's minus. Well said. But I have to remove this 4. To get the value of z. Now how to remove this 4? I will be using the opposite of inverse sign which is operation which is given that is minus with the same number that is 4. Not only from one side I will do the same method from the right hand side as well. So we know plus 4 and minus 4 it gets cancelled and we have z is equals to 8 minus 4 which is 4. Right? Let's do one more question. We have a divided by 5 is equals to 10. Now how to get the value for a? I know that this in particular equation I have the 5 as my denominator. Now to remove this 5 and get the value of a I have to do the inverse of my division which is multiplication with the same number which I have to remove only from one side no from both the side I'll do the same method my 5 and 5 gets cancelled I have a is equals to 50 10 into 5 50 so this is how we solve an inverse operation method equation problems now we will be now learning the next method which is the transposition method. 
Now the word transposition as the word says means transfer. What do I transfer? I will either transfer a variable or my number that is my constant from the left hand side to the right hand side that is from LHS towards RHS or from my RHS to LHS. How do we do it? I keep the Z this side. You can also take the Z to the other side that is RHS depending upon the equation that we are solving. But here I prefer to keep my Z to the left hand side that is LHS. Now I will transfer this 8 to my right hand side. When I am transferring my 8 to the right hand side I have that my sign will also get changed. It's going to get transferred from plus to minus. Now, always remember one thing. Whatever the number is given here, copy that number first. So that you don't forget it and you don't make a mistake with its sign given. Right? So, I have here 10 written and when I get my 8 being transferred to the other side, transposed to the other side we can say it, then I have minus 8. So this becomes z is equals to 10 minus 8 which it becomes 2. Let's do one more question. I have z into 9 is equals to 18. Now what to do? This 9 is being multiplied with C. I will transfer it or I'll say I will transpose it to the other side. When I say I transpose it to the other side, that means firstly I copy the number which is already there on my right hand side and when I'm transposing my 9 to the other side, my sign will get changed. Here my sign is multiplied and when I'm getting transposed to the other side, my sign will change into divide and the number remains the same. So 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18. So the value of z over here becomes 2 again. Right? I hope my students have now understood both the methods. Now we will be solving a question which has in which we will be doing a particular question by both the methods. First we will do the inverse method, the inverse operation method, sorry, followed by the transposition method. So we have z plus 3 is equals to 27. Right? So when I do my inverse method, what do I do? I have to put the opposite of plus sign. And what is the opposite of plus? The inverse of plus? That is minus. My number remains the same. That is 3. Only on one side? No. We do that in the both the side. That is minus 3 also in the left hand side. Minus 3 also on the right hand side. So this 3 and 3 gets cancelled because we know plus and minus gets cancelled when we have the same number. So 27 minus 3 I get 24. Now Try doing the same method by the transposition method. So z is equals to 27. I transfer the 3. I transpose the 3 to the other side. That becomes minus because my sign will change. So z is equals to 24. Right? Okay. So how about taking a question on a homework? Will you try? Let's try. So we can have y sorry, y plus 8 is equals to 32. Try doing this by inverse method and also solve the same question band of transposition method also. Right? So these are the two questions for you to do it as a homework, right? I hope you have understood about how do we solve an equation. Now in the next video we will be talking about how do we frame an equation and then go ahead solving it. That is we will be working and talking about the word problems. 
we will take up different word problems different types of one pro word problems one after the other so do you have any confusion any doubts if yes do comment on the chat box given below do like share and subscribe our channel and yes you can take a free demo class with us anytime whenever you feel like all right stay tuned and bye bye